Hey, what's up? It's me, L.A. Understood. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the show for another round of relationships. And in a relationship, you want to know what love is most of the time. Um, I can tell you this. It was a struggle for me to understand what love was. I heard so many concepts and philosophies of what it is, you know. So in order to give me a peace of mind from hearing the rhetoric from left and right, a pastor, mother, father, sister, brother, book, doctor, and even your own intuition and stuff like that. To keep myself sane in a world filled with so many opinions plus your own. <laughs> I told myself this while looking in the mirror per se. I'm like, well, you know what? I actually think I wrote it in my journal. I was like, well, I know what love is not. And I kind of just took it from there. I'm like, I know love don't go around smacking you in the face. Love isn't overbearing. Love is not controlling to the fact where you are scared to breathe, scared to think, scared to move. Love do not it, it don't keep you locked in a basement because of insecurities of a man snatching you up if you go check the mailbox. Love don't get upset or shaken if you decide to get your hair done and you're looking exceptionally beautiful, even more than you normally would. Love, don't get upset if maybe you may make a little bit more money than he or she is. Love is forgiving. But love, you have to be careful because love and letting things go it's a, it weighs, it's a balance. For example, if you're in a relationship and he hit you, or she hit you, because it's out there, you know, men are in abusive relationships just like a woman is. There's so she hawk woman, woman out there beating on men too. So if they hit you for no reason at all, nobody should be hitting anyone. You know, that's. That's not the way. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about spare the rod, spoil the child. That's an entirely different subject. So please, people, let's just try to stay focused on what I'm trying to adhere to you. And that's just love in a relationship between two adults. Love in a relationship between whoever's thinking about tying the knot. You know? Love. Where I'm, I'm getting, I was losing my train of thought, but what I'm saying is love it's forgiving, but if someone's constantly running you into the ground, you can't forgive them, but you have to leave. That's what I'm trying to say. There's nothing wrong with leaving if you're getting pulverized. You have a kind heart and you may love them. You have to still leave or you're going to be dead. So then you have to enter into a self-preservation and loving yourself, you know, Regardless, it's an act of love. You may love that person, but you have to leave because you don't want him or her in jail. That's a good gesture. And also, you have to leave because you want to live. So, both of you guys will still be alive. Both of you guys still win. So, we have to think of it in that aspect. If you do not know what love is, just think of all the bad things that could have happened in your relationship or in a relationship you've been in with or you've been in a relationship and you've seen someone else it's a relationship go by and it was you saw a lot of red flags and bad things like that's not right I don't know how to describe it but I just know it's not right well just try to imagine in your mind the opposite end and that's usually what love is so if I'm not hitting people and punching around people that means we're loving holding touching and you know what I mean Let's keep it in that window, because this world is crazy now. Love me, holding, touching in a non-preferred way. You know. Um, love is being thoughtful. Um, I know that. Considerate. Love is not being malicious and mean on purpose to make someone feel beneath you so you can feel like you have all the power, be it a man or a woman. So take all those negative things you know that are bad in any relationship 
and think about what the opposite would be. And that's your, how you can identify with what love is. You like, I sure know it's not that girl. You see him slap her upside the head? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got your popcorn. You watch your people's arguments. <sighs> you know, y'all know y'all do that. You go, you at home trying to cook chicken. Boil up some greens. Yeah, I said boil up some greens. Window open on a warm sunny day. And you hear some dogs barking. <laughs> then you hear glasses breaking. <laughs> then you hear arguing. <laughs> That's the lady. Then the guy. <laughs> you, you know, you go out there. Lean into the window. See what's going on. You get your snack out. Girl, ain't arguing. Oh, he hit her. Oh, she threw his stuff out. Oh, she cutting up his stuff. Now, you know, that's all that Jerry Springer type stuff. Is wrong. So think of how they should be handling the situation in the opposite, good, clean manner. Watch Jerry Springer and observe what they should have been doing in opposite. I could say it's more more of a healthier choice, and anything that is a more healthier choice is guided closer to the love perspective guided to good nature qualities so we can keep it at that and yes i do have a um purple heart on my hands might as well just speaking of love one of my most recent tattoos freestyle got it done sad no what's up yo um but that's what that's my definition of love and i know where to help people love you hey <laughs> bye